Good morning, it is about 6 a.m. and today I am working from home. I have the ability to do that a couple days a week and so usually we take advantage of that and go to the gym on those mornings. So that's where we are off to right now. So we just finished our workout. Yeah. 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 What'd you do? Treadmill and then what? Treadmill dumbbells. You're a dumbbell. <laughs> yeah, I usually do the treadmill and then I do like some shoulder, I don't know what it's called, it's like a pull down thing. And then I do like lat. a leg press thing. Is that the lat pull down? Lat I don't know, I do a lat pull down and then I do like leg presses. So I try to hit all the major body areas. Hey, just a quick check-in. It's 8 a.m. I have showered, dried my hair, partway dressed, and I kind of got stuck here on the computer starting to do work. So I'm gonna try to finish getting dressed and ready in the next half hour because I have my first meeting of the day at 8.30 and I usually like to be dressed before my meetings start because otherwise like, I just get sucked into work. A little more thoroughly. So if everyone would please put their phones on mute if you're not speaking. Um, so this is our agenda for today and I'm going to move rather quickly through it. So I actually have a whole chunk of blank time now which is sort of unusual until I have a couple more meetings this afternoon. So I came down to make my protein smoothie and first I was gonna uh, load the dishes that were in the kitchen sink into the dishwasher and empty the dishwasher and I found that my sweet husband did it for me which I know like I shouldn't be impressed that he did that because he's an adult man who has a house and a car but he never does that so that was really sweet of him he must have done that on his way to work this morning okay so my smoothie first I take like I don't know this is maybe like a cup of ice and I blend this up first to get it to be snow. Because if you do the ice by itself first with this Ninja Blender, or then it doesn't damage the um, blades so much. So I do the ice by itself first, and then I will put in one scoop of this protein powder. This is just Wegmans brand vanilla flavored protein powder, which I kind of just bought on a whim but actually I think the macros are pretty good for keto in one scoop it says it's less than a gram of carbs uh, no fat and 18 grams of protein so it is protein powder I just have a hard time getting like the amount of protein that I'm supposed to be getting and then I put in um, probably about a cup of almond milk It's not really scientific. And I'll put in probably uh, like a couple of tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. So that's where I get my fat in this. And then I blend it up again. Because I'm not measuring or anything, it always comes out a little different every time, so I never know if it's going to be like super thick or what. This one seems pretty good, and usually I just drink it right out of this blender cup thing. So I have been trying to use this mini happy planner for work, and so what I've been doing is the day before, I will write in my schedule of all my meetings that I have coming up and then the day of I've been using this just to write like some little notes of what takes place at the meetings. So it's only been a couple of days so far so good uh, and then I have myself other kind of like to do lists and reminders and things. The nice thing with the happy planner is you can insert your own pages onto the discs so like this is a page of notes that I took and I just punched it with the disc bound uh, happy planner punch and inserted it in here into the book but it's the mini one and it's kind of small spaces so I'm not sure how I'm gonna like it my bigger planner doesn't start 
for another couple of weeks so I'll see once I get into that if I want to use that one for work instead but so far I'm trying to keep track of things in here so I'm gonna go back and like add some notes of my meeting that I was just in this morning <laughs> Okay, I'm trying to cover up people's names, but I have one friend at work who just sent me this. So one of the nice things with working from home is I can cook or make myself something for lunch. Usually during the week I have like pre-cooked and either packed or um, just have in a container in the fridge some kind of mask meal for us that we take for our luncheons. So uh, this is nice. I'm going to cook myself up some shishito peppers and make a little feta sauce to go on them. oven I'm going to make my sauce and I think you've noticed by now that I'm not a really exact cook so I can't tell you like exactly what goes in it but um, it's gonna be a little bit of mayonnaise a little bit of feta cheese some lemon juice and salt and pepper and this is actually based on the um, shishito peppers that we've gotten at Seasons 52, they're in, on their appetizer menu, or they were the last several times we've been there. And they serve them with this like feta sumac sauce, I think. So I'm not sure 100% what sumac is and where to get it. Uh, but I kind of looked up the recipe online and sort of made it my own. So at this point I've made it for myself so many times that's why I can just kind of do it by feel and then once we started doing the keto diet I just tried to cut down a little bit on like the mayonnaise because well actually this mayonnaise doesn't have carbs so I could mayonnaise it up but I know some mayonnaise has more carbs in it so I try to use a little bit less and actually I kind of make a little bit less of the sauce in general I went a little sauce heavy when I used to make it more for myself before. So I'm just crumbling the feta in here and then I will just stir everything up. from home I should update you on my working so I have been working here I'm doing work most of what I do is like answering emails <laughs> so um, I basically just sit here and like get emails all day long I also wanted to give you in case we're doing like a full day of eating kind of thing um, I just wanted to update you on what I have eaten today so again we went to the gym first thing this morning so that kind of gives me some like bonus to play with. So I just had for breakfast I just had that protein powder smoothie. So that was just protein powder, almond milk, and heavy whipping cream and ice. Um, and then for lunch I made those peppers and the feta sauce which was like feta cheese and mayonnaise primarily. And I also just made myself a mug of tea with a little bit of heavy whipping cream. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do for dinner. And honestly, like, I'm usually not even that hungry for dinner anymore. I do have to go out tonight. Uh, so I will have to eat dinner. And here's my macros for the day. So I'm pretty right on. The blue one is carbs. So basically, I just want to keep the blue really small. And the red one is fat. So I want my fats to be like three quarters of what I'm doing. So I'm, I'm pretty good on my macros so far today and I'm also pretty good on my workload so far and since my husband emptied the dishwasher that chore is off my checklist so maybe while I'm listening to another call later this afternoon I might fold the laundry instead. 
heard this crinkle sound and came to see what the cats were messing with. And here, they brought their favorite toy up the steps. Did you carry that all the way up here? Okay, you can go back to playing. I'll stop looking at you. You go back and play again. You don't have to flip your tail. Oh, you're so silly. Don't scratch the steps. Play with your toy. Crazy cat. Look at you, crazy. Just a quick update. My last meeting was just my bi-weekly one-on-one call with my boss. She is great. She really tries to give us opportunities for things. So she was mentioning like she wants me to present at some like big forums and stuff, which makes me really nervous because I hate public speaking, but I will do it. I really like my boss. She's been my boss for um, like three months now, but she just hit the ground running and she's great. So we actually ended about 20 minutes early. So now I have a little bit of a break to get some other stuff done. <laughs> I should have updated sooner so now it's like 4 30 i'm done work i'm going to get some dinner and then i have to get changed and go to a band concert so usually on these days that i work from home it's because i have band practice at night but now we're in summertime so we're just like 100 percent concerts we have one or two a week so concert tonight and of course i'll try to bring you along for that as well okay sorry i forgot to show you my dinner which i put dinner in quotes because I don't really eat dinner anymore since we've been doing keto like my main meal of the day is mostly lunch so just to like tide me over for the evening I had a low carb bagel bread like food that uh, I was kind of experimenting with I ate my last one of those I had some burrata cheese and I had a handful of pecans and um, some iced tea. So that's gonna probably be it for me for the night unless I get another little snack after my concert. But now I am in my summer concert attire. So I'll show you over here. We wear uh, our white band logo shirts and black pants and these aren't my shoes but I'll be putting on uh, black sandals before I head out. And I gotta leave in about 20 minutes, so I'm just gonna um, check in on my work stuff one more time, and then I will head out of here. I carpool with a couple other ladies who live nearby, and it is my turn to drive tonight. <laughs> I just got home. I honestly think that was one of our best concerts ever at the Veterans Center. I don't know, like the crowd was really into it. Sometimes the crowd is kind of like tired there. They were into it tonight. They were singing along with every song we played. Um, and also it was kind of bittersweet because there's a couple in our band, uh, husband and wife, who are leaving the country. And this was the last concert for the wife and it's kind of been at the top of everyone's minds about the husband. So um, it was kind of sad. Um, he played a solo tonight and I think that, you know, the band clapped more than the audience did. So that was sort of sad. But, um, you know, we're sad to see them go. They've been in the band for a long time. But now I am about to get in my pajamas and get in bed. It's, well, it's only 9, 10, but I've been trying to get to bed earlier lately. So by the time I'm all in my pajamas and brush my teeth and everything, it'll probably be 10 o'clock and then I can just chill in bed. There's nothing I like more in the summertime than laying in bed under a ceiling fan. Okay, so we're about to go to bed. Thank you for joining me on my day today. Oh, Peter. <laughs> Yeah. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos every week. Yeah. Alright, bye! Yeah.